Hello guys, welcome back. Starting right into the tutorial, I took a little section here which is my bangs. Now I'm dividing my hair in three different sections. Coincidentally it's always three sections but I have to work in sections due to my thick and heavy hair. So I am doing here a ponytail which later on in the video I will show you guys what we're doing here. But for now I want to focus um, towards the bottom which is this little part here now what I'm doing here is I am twisting and turning and pulling upward this is going to be a little pouch for my leftover hair um, my leftover hair that I have from this little I guess little ponytail make sure you don't bobby pin inward but more out outward um, because we are rolling our hair inward in there so you want to make sure you have space for your little your little pouch that you're going to be storing your hair. All right, so this is the second section that I will be working on. Now I'm doing a bun here and this is kind of a little trick that I have been learning along the way that I um, do hair every day. So I'm twisting this, rolling it in. Make sure you bobby pin it and secure it well. Otherwise, it's gonna look like you have an awkward um, bump in your head and it's just not gonna look right. And then I will be covering this up by teasing. Now I'm taking te um, sections here and teasing each section. However, every time I take a new section, I join it into the previous section. That way it doesn't look uneven and when we brush it out, it looks really, really smooth. Now taking a little bristle brush, I'm taking this one from Suavecita which is their teasing brush but I find it um, very useful for brushing out any tease and then I'm going to be bobby pinning each side once I get them or you get them the desired shape you want it to be and then um, don't even worry about the top for now I just want to secure the, the spots on the side that way we can work with it and then you can obviously pull it up if you want a higher beehive then go for it um i normally like it this way um and you guys asked for a tutorial so i wanted to show you guys how i do it so you guys can get an idea it's not the neatest but just so you guys can get an idea of how to do it and then obviously you see how the hair is just kind of brush out all smoothly you do not want to see the back combing peeping through because that is not nice for my opinion um I'm taking the, the end of my comb and just pulling it up. If you feel like you've um, combed out a lot, you could just feel free to pull it up. Um, and that's basically how I do the beehive here. And then you can smooth away the little flyaways with the hairspray. I'm using my Suavecita hairspray, which I absolutely love because it doesn't leave my hair all flaky and... Um, it just seals my hairstyles. So after you're finally comfortable and happy with your shape, uh, whatever's left over, I normally tuck in and underneath um our beehive that we did there just leave a little open space so you could put your hair back in there and that's basically it you make sure you secure it with bobby pins um i didn't realize how the back was looking but you guys kind of have an idea of how to do this um apply any hairspray for the little flyaways i have that little hair in the back that was just not working with me yesterday but um that's basically all I do guys and then we're going to start with the bangs to the little bangs here. If you have Betty bangs or what other bangs you guys have, just do whatever you guys would love to do with them. I normally grew out my bangs 
and I'm just doing the side swept bangs and then the little hair I'm tucking it into that little um that little roll that we did um, when we first started doing this video and that's basically it um, you can take a headscarf or a ribbon or you can even use it just like that um, I did two different ways to well actually three different ways to show you guys how it looks I'm using this hair scarf, which I will leave you guys a link of a shop that actually sells these. I actually found them. They're very affordable. So I'll leave you guys a link down below. And that is basically it. Um, let me know what other videos you guys would love to see. I am willing to do other videos, different styles. Doesn't really have to be the pinup or um, vintage or 60s inspired styles I want to definitely expand this channel into something different so now I'm taking a ribbon and then I'm cutting this little ugly piece that's just there and then I will be applying this ribbon to my hair I really like how it looks with the ribbon I feel like Twiggy or like a 60s inspired movie like from um, Audrey Hepburn and that's basically it guys um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.